All right, welcome back. We are, oh, I really hope I don't. Eh, okay, I was gonna say, when I go back to the game, I really hope I don't move somebody unintentionally. Uh, picking up where we left off, start of this mission, grabbing some crates, doing some crate things. Um, These two are working together yes, like I understand soldier bonds. I as assume they're as the same. Them close to each other in the field, they'll reap various tactical benefits as their bond continues to grow. Now, I assume we could just go aggro on this. Um, I guess there's okay. seven to nine enemies. Killed zero, active zero. Yeah, so we don't know how many... Yeah, I was worried this would tell you how many enemies there are. Oh, also, my my head covers the timer. Hold on. Let me, let me reposition myself. Um... Where the fuck do I put this? Over here? Is that gonna work in other games? I don't wanna have to move this for every game I play. We'll try this position. Um, that should work in RimWorld. Probably works in AVP as well. Eh, fuck it. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um Fourteen turns. The map is fairly large. I might want to consider doing some sprints. Let's sprint this guy over to this corner. Got it covered. That way we've got a little bit of safety there. Oh, you should go up here to Sniper. I should have put you on the roof. Um, well, you don't even have I don't know if the sniper has much for good abilities right now uh, we can run all the way over there which is maybe a little bit dodgy I think we're safe I want to make the most of these initial concealed turns that way I can play it safer later when we're actually near enemies Oh, did they see us? Are we not concealed? We're not concealed. Okay, uh, that's on me. Oh, he broke their, he got it within the range. That, is that bigger? Is that range bigger than it is in base game? It might be. All right, important lesson learned. I cannot get a frag grenade in there. Okay, yep, me playing like a dumbass. Um, standard, standard, welcome back to XCOM things. You can see nobody back here. You can see from there. I, I... Shit. And we've got people that, they're flanked. That's so bad. Light them up. Standard shots are not turn ending. 37. Can I do anything to root these guys out of cover? Miriam? Okay, I can get her into cover. That's not bad. Thirty-four there. And the flash so the flash can reach but the frag can't? Okay. Got it. Um, so we've got four dudes with which we can do something here. Oops, sorry, I hit the mic. Yeah, so we need a teamwork. We have nothing to fear. Just to get her into a non lethal position. I'm thinking we pop up here on the roof, which will get her. Uh, the bonus from the, the scope. And cover, of course. Um. Just go for it. Ah, fuck.
37% chance. Let's take this shot. It's almost half. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever done. Did he just, like, curse and the game beeped it? That's funny. Um, then we can run and gun you. I'm going to do that. Just because I'm being paranoid about people getting killed here. Uh, zero percent. Seems terrible. Stun. Fire your arc throw. Thirty-eight percent. And can you... You can reach him with a flashbang. So we can try the stun, we can try the flash. And here you can try the flash or you can make a 34. And you can't see that asshole in the back. What we can do is we can try for the stun. And if that fails, we can flash with the last character. And then at least... Going for the stun. Okay. So he's neutralized. And then what we can do with you is you can go on Overwatch in case the sectoid comes closer. We, we sh I think we should be fairly okay. Ah, not bad damage are we flanked though we're flanked nice miss that's it's huge that's huge here all right um 10 percent is pretty shit you're under full cover forty seven surprisingly decent because I guess the bonus. If I hollow target, does that take an action? I don't know. And then you have two rounds left. You can light them up and just keep shooting. Consecutive 37% chance shots are not the worst. I'm thinking, though, that we can just blow this stuff up. He's on a truck. Like... Grenade. Let's at least root him out. That'll also, so that it, he might just die. Which I'm willing to, to do. Okay, uh, none of that played out the way I wanted it to. We didn't destroy cover and he didn't just die. It's fine. Um, let's go with you. 37. Actually, here's what we'll do. Let's get the sniper. Let's figure out how hollow targeting works. Hollow target this guy. Okay. And that used your turn up, it seems. Okay, good to know. 47 now. Yeah, hold targets plus 10. Okay. I think the holo target's still the right call. Because we just need to land one hit. Alright, fuck it. Um... Yeah, it was going to give us the most chances to land a hit. Shot wide. All right. Can we... You are concealed because you're a ninja? Is that what we're doing? That is revealed, yes. Tactically beneficial to keep them hidden. We're going to try and probably not use them here. Three hit points. 34% chance. And still stunned. Yeah. I'm assuming that doesn't wear off next turn. I'm I hope that here. is true. 
don't remember precisely the stun mechanics. 40% chance here. I could just grenade him. We'll roll the dice. Okay, cool. It was essentially a coin flip, so two chances. I should have been able to hit it more or less. Not quite a coin, coin flip, but essentially a coin flip. Um, and I guess we'll just move you over here. Put you on overwatch. And actually, you're shotgunner. Let's move you up further. Because, like, if we do activate, we're not getting any any overwatch fire anyway. So we're just going to sneak him up a little further. And then you can overwatch. Mr. Shinobi. Okay, we did trigger another pod. That's fine. And the Shinobi doesn't overwatch fire. Right. Um we'll Go for sword strike. They're both on the same pillar. I'm actually totally okay burning another grenade here from this guy. Ooh, he can't reach it. Okay. Um I can handle that. It's a little bit awkward having to move around the other guy there, but yeah, it does the job. This is right. for you. Root him out of cover. Maybe just fucking kill him, honestly. I'm not. Yeah. Ah, cover didn't go down again. I wonder if the cover destruction mechanics are changed to be different. There's a fly, you fucking son of a bitch. Um, God damn it. Why is there gotta be a fly now? Uh, okay. Shotgun man, you cannot do anything. You can go for a stun. Probably optimal. Because no I imagine the shotgun blast is not gonna be good from this range. 14, stun is 38. Let's just On go for the watch. stun immediately. Two for two on the stuns, my dude. Nice shit. Um, if we sneak you out here, you're completely exposed. Can we go up another level? We can go up another level. Odds of triggering another pod. Um, let's just run over Will here. Do. Sprinting the whole way, just dangerous shit. But we're probably through um, the better part of the enemies here. You cannot reach that. You can. Is this thing gonna explode? It shouldn't, right? What's over there? Because it's not. Um... It's not explosive or anything, right? That's what I was wondering. It's not on fire. How paranoidly do I want to get away from this car? I mean, usually they're on fire if they explode, but I hit it with a fucking grenade. Back in business. Oh, we got an evac point right here. We got to return to this point. I uh, missed that initially. Copy right, that. Run over there. We got to get moving then. I'm thinking crates there close by and then crates way over there 12 turns for reinforcements this guy's hidden I'm gonna run him ahead of smidge just a tiny bit here just so we can get a get a little bit of a further line of sight he's the scout I want him in lead uh, you actually can't get a shot on that guy from your position. I'm going to move you back here to be closer then. If you say so. Since he's stunned, it's not really that imminent. So the sniper can hold position here the entire time. Um, and that's fine. Let's grab you and sneak forward. Copy, 
Does the sniper have a bead? Only a 47. They're still undercover from your direction. Take the shot anyway. Failure. Probably want to move the sniper to the other side of the building, but I want to get some different uh, line of fire on that. I could just use my my scout. And just okay, I'll go. Kill it with melee. Adjusting sights. Need a resupply. We'll just take these shots. I think you're the shotgunner. We could just move him as close as possible, even though it would be out of cover. We know there's nobody over here because the scout's forward, so I Where think this say? is kind of risky, but safe. Misses. I'll get him next time. Um, yeah, so you can go there and be in cover. Roger that. One and three should have hit statistically. Missed. Wow, guys, it's kind of shit, huh? All right, I'm just going to kill. I got it, right? I'm spotted. I think that was that was fine. All right, so crates in this building. Are the other crates in the building too, maybe? Um, we can move, so we can advance kind of on the building from all directions. Probably not the best. If we go over the building, we get the height advantage. Let's, um, move these guys forward okay, first. I'll go. Okay, seize nothing. You need to reload. Back in. Then I'm gonna run you forward here. What's over there? We're going to move you around so we can get more line of fire over this way. We might need to pull the sniper forward because that building's in the way. We'll see how it works out. I'm not sure how finicky the line of sight mechanisms are. Beat, then, yeah, beat. let's get these guys moving. Oops, Here that was not go. supposed to be a sprint. Clicked on the wrong tile. It's fine. I can handle that. Well, I'll take cover behind this car. That'll probably detonate and kill everybody. Nothing bad can happen. Um, I'm honestly just gonna reload now. It's not that bad of a move if we can find the enemies and just start running, kinda. Um, I'm going to send him all the way over here to scout in this if direction. You say so. No sign of enemies. We're going to grab the other guys and kind of go through the building here, maybe. Done. Hmm. Dare I sprint up to the building? He hasn't seen anything. Can he actually see in here, though? I don't know. I guess that'll be okay. Why don't you take the Got tree it. position? Okay. You can hold on fire there. We'll get you. This is a doorway, so they shouldn't be able to trigger a pot if they no move here. Maybe they'll see one through this window. 
This is where they administer the bulk of their gene therapy treatments. Okay, I think we're good. The general public is aware of. Um, I want to move this guy forward more. I think I might just move him here. I'm trusting you here. And you'll take up the rear, and you'll hold this side. Shut up! Listen. Yeah, so there, the other pot is through this building somewhere. Crate's in there. Eight turns. Uh, I might be playing too conservatively for a mission like this. Solid copy. No problem, boss. I guess that'll be okay. <laughs> I like how he went through a window, too. Fuck the doors. Oh, was there not a door there? I guess there wasn't a door there. Fair enough, then. Is that a... No, that's wall. Move, move, move! We're just, we're just gonna break every window in the fucking building. Why not? We're XCOM. On the move. Nice field. Oh, my Discord's watch. open. Discord, be gone. Discord bad. Discord beepy. Um, what are we doing? Overwatch. On Overwatch. Shh. I think I heard something. Yeah, you and me both. Oh, there they are. You fucked. Not really. Two damage isn't exactly Spot. fucked, but. Kill his ass. Nice. X-ray neutralized. We just gotta take out that sectoid. Seems doable. Can we just kill him with a sword? I like the sword. Melee vulnerability seems pretty good. Six killed. It was there might be one more pod of two then. It's heavier than it looks. Hmm. I'm tempted to run somebody. I can't see. I want to know if these are inside this room, and I can't tell. I think they are. The back edge of the building looks like it's here. I'm gonna sprint. So that way we can figure out what's going on here. This might be incredibly dangerous. But I'm worried about the turns. That doesn't look like something you'd use to help someone, does it? Okay. So we're clear here. Uh, let's put him here because that's good cover. We started with 12, so six turns I've is when things get shit. There they are. I thought we were safe because we didn't see anything when the other guy moved in. You don't get a preview from there at all. I wonder if I could sneak a flashbang in. These guys are both undercover, though. And you can't see shit from back here. Okay, so the sniper is no good where they are. Um, you're gonna dash and just like grab a crate or something, honestly. I'm all over it. That's a door too. I don't think they can pull off a flank. But I don't think I can get a flashbang on them either. You're a squatty. 
I'm worried about the time we're taking here. So okay. what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this person forward. We're going to verify that we can't flash them. Yeah, I figured the line of sight wouldn't work there. Uh, does the frag grenade reach? No, of course not. Okay, so we're going to overwatch. That way if they round this corner, she gets a shot off and we can do something. Um, and then you can't move through there at all, so I might have just blocked you off. Ah, but you can... Oh, shit, but you're... Ah, uh, he, he, he had a run and gun. Fuck. Seems to okay, they can run and gun next turn. We'll put him on Overwatch in case they flank us in this direction through the doorway. Okay. Overwatch mode. That one's running. Uh, we did not get our Overwatch shot. I'm assuming because we only saw them for one tile. That's a change in the mod, or in one of the mods. Uh, Overwatch reverts to, like, the old form, where if you only see them move one tile, you don't get a shot. So I'm guessing that's what happened here. Uh, we have Flashbang and get rid of that. Uh, is this gonna work? I think this works. Getting in close. I think this works. Will do. Something here. Beautiful. That was, that was great. <laughs> Not bad for man with one eye. What am I doing with this? All right, you uh, might as well just grab a crate. Why don't you go grab this one? Get it done. Then we got this guy. Can you? No, you cannot melee. You only see him if you move here. Okay, we're just going to run him through. We're going to assume we're going to kill this guy. It's going to be fine. 54%. Or we throw a nade. If we throw a nade now, we get these guys moved into the crate positions. Two, three. We could take one shot with somebody. Oh, that's a flanking position. I'm yeah, going. move move there. Ooh, but then we can't grenade. Doesn't matter. He's dead. Okay, done. Did you see that one? Burn it through ammo fast. Alright. Um, you into this position. Solid copy. You into this position. Double time. You can hold here an overwatch in case there's a pod I'm forgetting. Okay, um, begin your retreat. You can retreat slowly, because everybody else needs to catch up. Everybody inside the building needs to retreat fast. Object captured. Dashing. I like the way he says dashing. Very, very no understated problem, dashing. Um... You say so. Uh, you get into the building here. Whatever you say. You get into the building here as far as possible. Good to go. Um, let's get you moving towards the other crate, maybe. Affirmative. Overwatch you, moving and you Overwatch. can cover our ass back here. All right. Uh, fresh turn. Great. Um. Nobody's quite in range of that crate. That's fine. Got it covered. You can grab it. Let's 
do this. Double time. I'm all over it. Sprinting all of these guys out here somewhere. Getting it done. The evac point is actually slightly offset, so we should actually run this one. Go, go, go! Let's move already. Commander, we're losing the AO and our forces in the process. I'd strongly advise we consider pulling the squad out of there. Good to go. Uh, sure hope that last guy can reach in time. On it. Should be fine, right? I've got the thing. Copy that. It's a little further away than I remembered. I wonder if I fucked up. Beat feet. I don't know. I don't think that last person's gonna make it out. I think I just lost the shotgunner. Double time. Oh, they have um. I don't know if a bondmate can save them. It's one charge between the two, right? You don't have a bondmate, do you? Is there anything that can be done here? Moving out. Here I come. Dashing. Packing it in. Oh shit. It's gonna be close. Avenger, this is Firebrand. Package is secure. Commander, we're losing the AO and our forces in the process. I'd oh my god, that's so close. I wonder if we there. get these guys out of the way. Double time. If they can make it. Good to go. I can handle that. I know there's an evac all button, I'm just not. I'm not using here. it because I wanna fucking play it safe. Are you fucking for real right now? One tile off? One tile go, go, away. Go. That's so bullshit. Can I, can I do that? Arrive in two turns. Ooh, it's not even instant anymore. Interesting. Oh, man. Seriously? How can I be one tile off? Oh my god. Just in time. Just got hot in here. Oh! It's not terminal. It's not a lose condition. I thought it was a you have to leave. It's just actually re in game reinforcements. I didn't even didn't even register to me that it'd be in game reinforcements. Just in time. I thought it was it was we have this much time to steal shit and that's it. We gotta leave immediately Fallen after. Operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Stressing out for nothing. Mission accomplished. Oh man, we did it. Woo! Oh man, I thought I fucked myself there. I would like to assure the citizens of Advent that our peacekeepers will stop at nothing to prevent further attacks by criminal elements such as the one that occurred today. That went well then. I thought it went badly, but it went well. Good work out there, Commander. Uh, good to know for that sort of mission in the future, we don't need to rigorously rush to get out in time. We can take a little bit of breathing room and just deal with reinforcements on the way out, which isn't that bad. Basically, you can go one turn over because the turn the reinforcements spawn, you can just evac. Um, 
you run the risk of maybe some overwatch fire messing something up or whatever oh and the one that took damage only took damage to a blade of armor so we didn't even get injuries so it actually was a perfect run that's so good yeah sure you guys are now squatty no we don't need a poster um or not squatties your um bond mates or whatever lance corporal so you get stunned you get run and gun You get all of these? Is that how that works now? Here's two armor, no range penalties, using one ammo, two turns, two down. So that's just straight upside, great. Disorient when misses, that's so good. Like on a shotgunner, having a utility fallback like that with a guaranteed disorient is fucking awesome. But then yeah, lightning reflexes is always nice. Oh, we do have to pick. Um, oof. I feel like Electroshock's more valuable here. Or do we get... Yeah, we just get the one. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. We have 5 AP, 10 for an ability. Okay, nice. I think this is more important earlier because we're going to miss more often, which makes using Arc Thrower more beneficial, right? Because we need... If our shots are less accurate in general, we want Arc Thrower because we might as well stun when we're unlikely to hit something. Uh, it gives us more time to get into position and shit. So having this fall bag is huge. Slug Shot seems really good too, but we can take that later. Like for now, we can just grenade to get rid of armor, right? This ability to reduce enemy detection against you by 24% for two turns. Interesting. Are the bottom row abilities randomized? Because in the base game, they are. Right? In base game, you get a row of, like, at least in more of the Chosen, I think it was, you get a row of abilities that are random for the unit that you can only spend, like, AP points on, something like that, right? I think that's true. I don't think I'm making that up. Well, this is Arc Thor base, so I don't think that's the case. I think these are just, like, abilities you just always have to pay for here. Okay, that makes sense. I like the diverse array of abilities it's nice Commander, to see each of our soldiers is very high level intelligence understanding of our tactics and capabilities right, cool. something we refer to as combat intelligence because of their unique Antum. experiences in the field so this is our second our swordy from the resistance sword to boy oh no this is our first sword boy. just kidding i didn't realize they they were already a squaddy not ranking up to the squad that's me not reading shit oh but they have ghost walker is it it might be that abilities just overlap. I mean, it does that in base game too, that abilities overlap between classes, right? I'm pretty sure that's true. At least for some. Or maybe I'm thinking of XCOM 1 or fucking... I don't know, man. I'm just saying shit. Lone Wolf. Four tiles distance from an ally. Plus 12, plus 12 at 7. Why? What's the diff? Why? Why ever slash when you can flesh? I guess like flechette. I guess it's flesh. Oh, two attacks a turn are possible. That makes sense. That checks. I, okay, yeah, that makes sense. No questions left. Um, I like melee early game for getting out of sticky situations. Lone Wolf seems like it's a death sentence. Yeah, so we're going to go Blade Master on this. So we got Point Blake Sawed Off Shotgun on the Ranger. And that's a special ability? Because that appears to be a rifle. I wonder if he has a different weapon that we don't have in the loadout. Yeah, because we only ever saw the light him up ability in that battle. So I think he probably has a Sawed Off Shotgun we can switch to from the Assault Rifle.
So we should make sure we do that. Uh, Berg. Okay, Berg, Berg, Berg. I'm gonna, we're going to do that after this. Uh, it takes a highly accurate shot, bonus hit, minus damage, and crit using two animal. Interesting. Like, really useful when you just need to get that last damage to kill something behind cover. Bonus crit against adjacent targets. All your actions on move get a bonus overwatch. You did not attack this turn, Hunker, immediately. Successive shots at the same enemy unit. Locked on seems nice. Gain two extra ammo. We might want to think about how we actually want to build this guy. Do I actually want, like, because this light him up and locked on seems like it'd be better with rifles. Just because the shotguns are hard to get in position. Plus we can just get him into a spot and just take some shots. However, there's a lot of movement-based missions in this game, at least base game. So it might be better to go shotgun because we're not losing our movement. Unless we never saw these abilities because we were never close enough to somebody. That might be the case. I think I want the accurate shot for utility purposes here. Requires a burst fire weapon. Oh shit, not available shotgun or sniper rifle. Okay, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it actually. All right, well in that case, shit. I guess we build him. Oh, cause we just gave him the bond, right? Yeah, so I guess we do build them for rifles then, because we can't actually use that with shotgun. Uh, I better read the tooltips on the rest of these abilities before I pick one. So we got a grenade guy. Explosives may dis can destroy many cover objects. So are explosives nerfed and not generally destroy cover in this? Is that a change? Because we didn't destroy like any cover. Bet you that's a nerf. Support grenade specifically. Uh, I think we want sapper. Yeah, sapper allows frag grenades on their explosives to destroy many cover objects, so you can't destroy cover inherently. Okay, so we were playing our grenades kind of wrong there. I mean, it's fine. It's not a big deal. We still killed people to get out of there safely. We weren't bringing bodies back anyway, so there's no downside to using grenades, right? I guess it might destroy loot drops, the normal loot drops. I'm not sure if, if it works that way in this game or in base game, honestly. Uh, aid protocol, so we got a specialist finally. Uh, hack, haywire, and aid protocol. Okay. And then you are upgraded as well. So we've given her a uh, scope on her rifle that wants elevation. We have a PCS for elevation also. So we're going to build her to be an elevation-based sniper. Um, free action, four turn, cooldown, no longer ends your turn. Yeah, step shot, not gonna do it. We're gonna sit, we're gonna shoot, we're just gonna camp on a roof. That's the plan. So, we want death from above, probably. Yeah, long range accuracy bonus and the free kill. Yeah, we're committing to the full roof camping sniper build. Oh, we should have read the tooltip again, but whatever. 21 alloys, one Illyrium core, advanced expanded magazine. Why does it vibrate? 
Oh, that's actually from the ship being lowered in. Cute. I never noticed that before. Steady weapon. Okay, so it looks like a lot of the upgrades are changed, which is good. The upgrades in base game were fairly vanilla. Like, granting an ability from equipping a stock is really intriguing. So I'm assuming you can steady weapon and then shoot, which is actually quite relevant for a firefight. Cool. More upgrades. Great. Um, so, we're going to call this episode here. I just want to take one look at things quick on the map. So we've got this second mission coming here very soon. We're going to let this run its full course, I think, and just do it when the, the infiltration timer ends. Um, and then after the supply drop comes in, we're going to pull the engineer back off of the resistance haven and put him back on clearing out another floor. We'll just get that supply drop there. I'm assuming this still works like base game where it just is a one time big drop and not like trickling in. But I don't know where we did get supplies, so I might be missing something there. Um, feel free to leave a comment if there's anything I've overlooked in terms of how these mechanics work in this episode or the last. I should have mentioned that before. Um, oh, and I don't think I mentioned the schedule. I'm going to do three episodes a week for XCOM, three episodes a week for AVP. I don't think I mentioned that in AVP either. I'm really bad at uh, logistics, I guess, huh? Maybe I should be playing XCOM game, though. Well, it'll be fun anyway, I guess, huh? <laughs>